Hello everyone and welcome to day number 11 of the 2018 Beer Advent Calendar for Beer Cartel. I'm Jeff Ewens from Beer Cartel and today we are revealing the Stone and Wood Cloud Catcher and I've got Keelan Vaughan with me from the brewery there in Byron Bay. How are you Keelan? Very well mate, thank you very much for uh, having me here today. Not a problem, thanks for joining us. So tell us a little about yourself and um, Stone and Wood and what you guys do up there. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, as my name's Keelan Vaughan. I'm the head brewer here. Uh, been here about three and a half years. Um, we up here at Stone and Wood, you know, born and raised in the Byron Bay and raised in the Northern Rivers. We are a very big, um, you know, we're a very fiercely independent brewery uh, up here. Um, we see ourselves as one of the uh, leading sort of independent breweries in Australia. We're, there's a an amazing amount of breweries, uh, independent breweries growing within the, you know, within our region, but also around Australia. And, um, you know, it's a pretty exciting time to be involved in beer. Um, and particularly up our way, um, Southeast Queensland, uh, Northern New South Wales is, you know, it's a bit of a hot spot for some wonderful beer. And uh, it's uh, this time of year, it's certainly a nice time to be sampling a few too. It's also a, uh, a good lifestyle location as well. So to have a brewery and uh, be a brewer there, I'm sure, is, has got its purpose. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We're, it's, a, it, you know, it's a, I think, 28 degrees already this morning at, you know, 9.30 in the morning. It's, uh, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful on the 11th of December. <laughs> and you guys are obviously a, a full production brewery, um, have been for a number of years, and you've got, now got two sites up there where you're brewing, um, brewing beer. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm actually just sitting in our analytical lab uh, and that's up at our production site, which is in Mwilumba, uh, which is about 40, 45 minutes northwest of Byron Bay. Um, this is where all the production site happens. So uh, this is where, you know, you, we reproduce the wonderful beers like Cloudcatcher and Pacific Ale and all these sorts of things. Yep. Uh, but we also have a, we've actually just shut down the original brewery. Uh, the reason we're doing that is actually we're, we've built a new, you know, Byron Bay is our spiritual home and uh, we've actually built a, a location that's, uh, you know, fitting to paying homage to our roots growing up in Byron. Yeah. Uh, and we've got a wonderful uh, new site that's going to be hopefully opening, opening the side of Christmas. So yeah, I remember, stay tuned. And- I remember seeing, going to the, um, the original Byron Bay brewery probably about five years ago um, and you guys were expanding so much that you actually had, um, your tanks were actually starting to be out in the car park. There was some stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. It. It was <laughs> Funnily enough, we've actually started doing that uh, up at Mwilumbar as well. Oh, right. All our fermenters are outside fermenters now. Right. So okay. we've run out of room inside. So uh, people don't even uh, need to, uh, they, they, uh, they can do a drive by and literally see the brewing equipment. You <laughs> definitely can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get you up and check out the new brewery. Yeah, well. the new brewery, most definitely. Yeah. And so today, for day 11, we are revealing the cloud catcher. Um, so we both have one and we'll, we might just uh, crack that open and have a bit of a chat about uh, this beer. Um, the reason we included this is because this beer um, has been in, in bottles for a little while, but originally it was only in 500 mil um, pint bottles. Um, and so when earlier this year, um, you guys made a decision to release them in 330 mil bottles, we thought it'd be a great inclusion um, into our beer advent calendar um, and also quite fitting um, that the whole advent calendar is around independence. So we've got nothing but independent um, beers being featured and you guys being uh, one of the forefathers of independence um, in the craft brewing um, circles. We thought it was quite cool to have you guys in there. So tell us a little bit about Cloudcatcher while, while we open it. Cloudcatcher. This is definitely one of my favourite beers. It's in a wonderful Australian-style pale ale, uh, hopped with our, some of our favourite uh, Australian hops, Galaxy, Aller and Enigma. Um, um, using lots of Australian barley, lots of Australian wheat. Yeah. Uh, let me pull one out here too. Um, tough thing, but you know, it's gotta be, gotta be done. Hey. <laughs> yeah. And so it's, un- it's um, obviously not, not heavily filtered. Um, yeah, no. So, so we actually don't filter any of our beers. All of our beers have um, uh, some degree of yeast in them. Yep. Uh, we do use a, a, a process or a machine called a centrifuge yep. and it can actually remove uh, yeast particles uh, using centrifugal forces, yep. but it doesn't remove any of those sort of flavor and ar- flavors and aromas that we've come yep. to love from, you know, standard wood beers. 
And so obviously the, with the use of Galaxy, it's <laughs> got quite kind of tropical fruits and a bit of passion fruit on. Yeah, so very much, you know, it's very much, you know, we use a lot of Galaxy, a lot of Ella and a lot of Enigma in there. And they are, you know, some wonderful Australian hops. And a lot of them have those, you know, big tropical fruit characteristics, floral. Um, yeah, so, you know, what you're first going to see is it's, a, it's got a light haze to it. Um, you know, nice sort of golden color, light haze, good head. And the first sort of smell... Just that big hitter, wonderful Australian hop character. Yep. And so how would you say this differs to your, um, your very popular and, and, um, and well-loved Pacific Ale? Yeah, so this, this is a much bigger beer. Pacific Ale is a beer, you know, for an occasion. You, you know, you've had a hot day, you know, sitting in Byron Bay or up here in the Northern Rivers where, where you've got a subtropical climate, very light, 4.5% where this is a much bigger beer. This is, you know, 5% alcohol. It's got a lot higher uh, bitterness, yep. uh, a lot more malt body to it as well, uh, but also a lot more hot flavor and aroma. And that's, you know, it's very much what, um, you know, what types of beers that I, I, I certainly love to drink. Yep. And, but it's still at a very uh, sessionable ABV at 5%. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about what's what's the future of Stone and Wood. So you guys have just put out a... Um, one your Pacific Ale actually in cans. Um, so, have. what's how's that going for you guys? And um, uh, yeah, the next sort of twelve two years, kind of looking. What's oh, the- it's a good question. We oh, one of the only constants at uh, Stone and Wood is change. So we're a constantly evolving brewery. Um, we've just also you know ten years of summer. We've just released Pacific Ale in cans. We just released our ten year uh, ten year anniversary beer, the SWX. Yep. which was a uh, 10% barrel-aged uh, Imperial Stout. Um, so that's a really exciting, you know, some really exciting milestones for us to achieve, yep. but also some fun beers for us to be playing with. Um, on the horizon, there's going to be a lot more uh, single-release beers, um, you know, coming out. We've done a few little pilot batches and things like that um, over the last, you know, we've always been making beer in our little pilot brewery. We had a little six-hectolitre pilot brewery. And yep. the tasting room is very much the only place you could come and get that. So it's another reason to come up and uh, come up and see us if you get the chance. Um, but uh, we want to be we want to showcase those beers that we've been making for quite some time, and yep. hopefully release them to uh, the masses a little bit more. Still very much small batches. Um, so I'd, I'd I'd say it's going to be an exciting year, uh, 2019 for, yep. for beer for Stone and Wood. I think every year has been, but. Uh, I'm particularly excited about what's coming up in the next uh, the next 12 months. Uh, and across, I guess the a big thing for us, change change of format is cans. Yep. Uh, very exciting for us. Um, the big reason we've got into cans is because uh, the quality of machinery has become affordable or economical enough for us to sort of get into the market. We haven't wanted to get into it until we couldn't guarantee that the, the level of you know, our, our standards are met. Uh, and we've, we, you know, we've been out to partner, a, a supplier uh, that absolutely has the same sort of ethos and view around beer quality uh, because, you know, that's one of the most important things to us. Yeah. Uh, and we're very pleased that we we've got that. And uh, I think cans are just dropping sort of uh, at the moment. So, I'm very yeah. excited to say there's going to be a lot of Pacific Ale in cans and hopefully yeah. there'll be a few other beers in cans and then yeah, the future too. It's launched at the, uh, it's launched at the really, really good time, obviously just before summer uh, in line with the, the 10 years of summer that you just mentioned. Um, and yeah, we, we recently got some samples of it and um, stocks landing or has already landed into, into our warehouse. So um, yeah, perfect. Well, like, and, um, it, yeah, it'll be great to see how, how they, how they kind of go over um, over the next little while, because I'm sure that, Oh, I'd seen like, it, seen it in an esky, and like a uh, pull it out of an. You just see that like the glow of the Pacific Ale <laughs> can. Pull it out of the esky. The eye still on it. Crack it open. It's wonderful. Yeah, Perfect. very very special. Awesome. It's the little things that uh, us brewers uh, appreciate. Bring joy. <laughs> well, you, absolutely. You, you yeah. bring joy to uh, to everyone that's uh, un- unveiling the um, the beer today. I'm sure they're gonna um, have a really. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I hope they enjoy it as much as we do. This is definitely one of, uh, I love all, you know, all our beers are like, our, you know, our children, but yeah. uh, this is a pretty special one. Yeah. Very fond of it. Well, to that, uh, to that point, thanks very much for joining me on the video today, Gil. 
and um, I appreciate your insight to the beers and sharing those with everyone at home. For everyone at home, I uh, hope you enjoy the beer today and uh, we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Cheers, Keelan. My absolute pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy.